Do you want to go on a walk? Yes, sir. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Hey guys, we are here in Redwood National and State Parks in Northern California along the coast. We're gonna go for a little walk. Hopefully along the way, I will be able to stop and shoot a yoga video for you guys and have a little yoga practice. I brought my yoga mat. We'll see. I'm Hillary. This is Fit for This Journey. We are today in the Redwood National and State Parks. They are beautiful, surrounded by these really tall trees. And so what's fitting is, Dexter's gonna take himself for a walk. What's fitting is to do a tree pose tutorial and maybe a headstand tutorial because who doesn't want to stand tall? All right whether it's on our feet or our hands. All right, so we're gonna start with tree pose. So just stand up anywhere, it doesn't really matter, anywhere on your mat, anywhere at home, wherever you are. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Starting with tree pose, you can do several things with tree pose. You can just place your foot on the ground, toes on the ground, heel on your leg. And this is tree pose, it's a great tree pose. It helps with balance. If you'd like to take it just to the next step, you can move it to your calf. Again, another great tree pose. Or you can place your foot inside of your thigh, pressing your foot against your thigh, your thigh against your foot. Hands can be on your waist to help with balance, or if you have a counter or a wall next to you, you can use that as well. You wanna square your hip bones off to the front, and then gently press your knee to the side. Engage your core, so draw your lower ribs closer to your pelvis, drawing your belly in, and then place hands at prayer at heart center. Find something non-moving in front of you, look at that. Keep breathing, inhale. Exhale. And then interlace fingers, foot palms up towards the ceiling, and bring your biceps by your ears. Roll shoulders down, again, engage your core. We like to kind of splay out when we go to this position with our arms, but draw your core in, press your foot into your thigh, your thigh into your foot, push that knee out. Now, if you'd like the next challenge, you can gently look up, challenging your balance. Inhale, and I'm gonna fall out because I looked up, but falling out's no big deal. Just come back into it. Inhale, exhale, hands back to prayer at heart center. Pull your knee into your chest no matter where it is, and then exhale it down, feet back together. Now, shift your weight into the opposite foot than you just did. So I just did tree pose on the right, so I'm gonna shift my weight into my right foot. Left foot now bends, or left knee rather, now bends. Foot on my ankle, on my calf, or inside my thigh. You might notice sides are different. Maybe you have better balance on one side than the other. Maybe you have um, more open hips on one side than the other. Place hands either on your hips or at prayer at heart center. Again, hip bones forward, knee presses out. Draw belly in. And then interlace fingers, flip palms up, reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core, lengthening your back. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like another challenge, you can gaze up. Inhale. Exhale, hands through prayer at heart center. One more time, pull that knee into your chest and release it down. If your glutes are on fire right now during tree pose, that's good, you wanna fire those up. So when you're on your standing leg, really in any pose, you want every 
leg muscle engaged, especially your glutes and your hamstrings. So, you know, any yoga poses where you're standing on one leg, any of these, your glute is probably going to be on fire, one or the other. All right, so next tutorial is on headstand. We just stood really tall in tree pose, and so now we're going to stand really tall but on our heads in headstand. So headstand is something that you can learn super easy, probably two to four weeks or less if you just try it, practice it every day. When I was learning and trying to um, increase the duration that I could hold the headstand, I just would do it all the time. Get home from work, try it. Finish a workout, try it. After yoga class, try it. Before yoga class, try it. And eventually you get there. So that's really with any, any poses um, that we have. So, all right, a couple of things. You're gonna interlace your fingers and then open them up like you have a nest. And then you're going to bend your elbows, and I'm going to walk you through this differently, but I want to show you um, kind of raised up. So your elbows are going to be about shoulder width apart like this, and you're going to look like this, but your head's going to be on the ground. Okay? So just come to a kneeling position and grab elbows. Then place them down on the ground in front of you. Release your elbows, interlace those fingers as I talked about. Open them up so it kind of creates a basket or a nest. And then you want to place the where your hairline would be or your hairline onto the mat and then tuck your toes lift your hips so head down tuck your toes lift your hips so this is a perfectly that's a perfectly great headstand just to stay there with your feet on the ground i'm going to progress it and walk my feet in but if that's all you've got then stay there and you, i'm not pushing the putting all of my weight on my head i'm really pushing into the ground with my forearms so that my grit, so that my head feels light on the ground. So hands on the ground, tuck your toes. Oh, hands on the ground, head on the ground. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. So again, this is a great spot. Then you're gonna just start to walk your feet in until you feel your hips over your head. And you'll kind of feel a lightness in your feet and you can just bend your knees into your chest just like that. And then you can start to extend up, feet into the air. Now, you really don't want to jump into headstand because you can hurt your neck. You just want to keep working on your strength and your flexibility by walking your feet in until they feel light and then bending your knees into your chest. We all want to get so far so fast, but just take your time, let your neck strength build, let your shoulder strength build for this pose. So I'm going to show it one more time. So I'm on my knees, grab elbows, place them on the mat, interlace fingers, hands down, open my hands up, place my head on the mat, tuck toes, walk my feet in so that my hips are over my shoulders. And I'm going to bend one knee in. So this is another great place to stay, just right here. And you can alternate, or we can bend one knee in and then the other. And again, this is a headstand, perfectly great. You don't have to stand all the way up. Or we lift our legs all the way up, engaging, engaging our legs, pushing out through our feet holding here, pushing into our forearms so we're not dumping into our neck. And then slowly bring your legs back down. Taking a child's pose, knees wide. Head down to the mat. You can extend your arms out. Just sink down. Let the blood come back from your head. Sometimes doing headstand can make people feel dizzy. So just take a moment here in child's pose. And then slowly walk your hands up. All right, guys, thanks so much. That is a supported headstand and a tree pose tutorial. And of course, there's always more you can do. And so maybe next time I'm feeling among tall trees, I will do a uh, tripod headstand tutorial for you. I'm gonna pop one out right now just to give you a preview and We'll have something to look forward to in the future. 
Thanks guys again, my name is Hillary and this is Fit for This Journey. Exhale, bring in prayer to your heart center. Relax shoulders down and then pull your knee into your chest. Release it down. Now, if you're feeling your glutes burning, that's good in tree pose. You should be engaging that glute, engaging your core the whole time for stability. If you hear chewing noises, that's my dog chewing grass right in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> 